Today I'm gonna to answer a burning question that seems to be going around when it comes to EcoFlow's flagship products. That question is, which one should I buy? EcoFlow has three different flagship power stations out now in the 3600 to 7200 watt range, and each has their own preferred use case. Let's check them out. First, I own and have used all three of these power stations since the day they came out. So I've extensively tested each one for months, or in the case of the original Delta Pro, several years. This means I will be speaking from experience and what I think the best use cases are for each product. For those of you new to the channel, I don't want you to think that I am full of doo-doo. I actually do have a Delta Pro Ultra, in fact, two of them with two batteries. This is actually wired into the Smart Home Panel 2, which powers this entire building and actually two other buildings. And I also have a Delta Pro 3. You can see I've been using it. It's down to 27%. I use all these products all the time. In fact, this powers three buildings. This actually is the backup for this. I do use this all the time. So I have a lot of experience with both of these products. And for those of you that didn't catch the video, I do have a video on how I installed EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 2. You can see I have it set up with some circuits. So yes, I use this too. It's totally integrated into this building. Okay, here is one of my two Delta Pros. You can see this is the desk I record at and this is pretty much where it lives. I also have two of the Delta Pro extra batteries. As you can see, a bunch of stuff piled on them. I really don't ever use them. They're just too big and honking to pull out and hook up. Here's my other Delta Pro. I was just charging this little power station off of it, but yeah, I, they get regular use in my lab. Let's start with the oldest flagship model that debuted on Kickstarter in 2021, the original 3600 watt Delta Pro. This is the most accessible large EcoFlow power station and by accessible, they mean affordable. It has been in production for over three years now and all the bugs have pretty much been worked out through firmware updates. The biggest difference between the Delta Pro and the two newer flagships is that the Delta Pro only outputs 120 volts on its own. In order to power a household 240 volt breaker box or 240 volt appliance, you need two Delta Pros running through what they call a double voltage hub. And essentially what that does, it takes both inverters, parallels them together and makes 240 volt split phase service, which is what you need to run major appliances in your home. The Delta Pro is also the least powerful of the three units as it outputs 3,600 watts and has a 3,600 watt hour battery. When combined through the double voltage hub, that power output does double. You can also add on 3,600 watt hour smart extra batteries up to 21.6 kilowatt hours of total battery power or about what the average American home uses in the average day. The major downside to the Delta Pro Extra batteries is that they are huge and they can't be stacked. For this reason alone, I suggest just buy a second Delta Pro over getting the extra battery. The Delta Pro, while not lightweight at around 100 pounds, is easy enough to move around on hard surfaces with its built-in wheels and luggage-style pull handle. This is how I use my two Delta Pros in the lab. I literally use them for every power station review I do, as one of my favorite features is the ability to control how fast they charge from AC power through the brilliant EcoFlow app. This app, by the way, is easily the best power station app across all brands, with features only others dream of, like forcing AC power to turn back on after the battery dies and is recharged. When you see me do an AC load test on a power station, I'm using one or both of the Delta Pros under my desk to pull up to 3,600 watts using the sliders in the app. Now, if I need more than 3,600 watts, I will typically add one or more electric heaters to the mix and then use the sliders on the Delta Pro to get myself within that 100 watt range that I need for my target discharge rate. I also use the Delta Pros on a regular basis as a power dump if I need to, say, discharge or recharge a battery without putting the extra load on my main home solar power system. Is the original Delta Pro for you? If you're on a budget and you only need to power 120 volt appliances or you want an inexpensive solution for home backup when combining two units into a transfer switch, then you should take a look at the Delta Pro. It's also a great choice for camping duty or rolling around in your garage or at a job site to power major appliances and and power tools as the 3600 watt inverter is definitely a beast and can handle virtually anything. Next up, the Delta Pro Ultra, which was released early this year, 
is a much different product. It offers a much larger 7200 watt inverter, but the batteries aren't built in. They are a separate add-on and you do need to have at least one battery for it to work and they're six kilowatt hours each. So the DPU, as we'll call it from now on, is a much larger and more powerful product. It's much less portable, but it can still be rolled around on smooth surfaces with the included dolly. While you could technically take it camping, it's really not designed for that use. It's the best solution of the three flagships for home backup power as 7,200 watts is a heck of a lot of inverter power on its own, and that's enough to start and run a three-ton HVAC system. But when you start adding additional batteries, you can quickly build up enough backup storage to power your entire home. The main feature of the DPU is the fact that it does supply split-phase 240-volt service from a single unit, and when paired with a smart home panel too, can run emergency loads easily. Doubling up the DPU with another inverter and another battery can easily power most homes through long blackouts. This model is expandable up to 90 kilowatt hours when three units are connected together through the smart home panel two with 15 total batteries. Another major upside to the DPU is its amazing solar charging ability. With two built-in MPPT controllers, one is a low voltage, the other is a high voltage, you can charge with up to 5,600 watts of solar each DPU, up to 16.8 kilowatts if you have three units connected through that smart home panel too. In fact, I do have two DPUs with two batteries hooked into the smart home panel too, and was able to power my home for an entire week during the summer with about 3,000 watts of solar connected to it. And that was more of an experiment than a practical use because as soon as we had some clouds in the sky, I didn't have enough battery or solar to continue to run everything. However, when the power went out for six hours during a thunderstorm this summer, we didn't even notice. I could easily run a full day or two without issue on that setup. Now there's also a way to set it up for time of use so that it will charge the batteries at night or on weekends when the power is the cheapest and then use that power during the day when there's peak hours when it's most expensive. So it actually will pay for itself over time. So even without solar, it could save you a lot of money while providing peace of mind during a blackout. Last but not least, the newest flagship is the Delta Pro 3, or what we'll call the DP3 from here on in. Now, there was never a Delta Pro 2 in the United States, so don't be confused by the name. It actually is the successor from the original Delta Pro. It has been dramatically updated with many new features, including most importantly, a split phase 240 volt inverter, so just like the DPU, you can run major 240 volt appliances directly from a single unit. Also like the DPU, the DP3 can be paired together with a hub to double the power or even tripled when hooked into the Smart Home Panel 2 breaker box. But unlike the DPU, the DP3 does have a built-in four kilowatt hour battery. And those batteries can be expanded up to 16 kilowatt hours per Delta Pro 3 up to 48 kilowatt hours total when three units are parallel together. Just like the DPU, it has both a high and low voltage MPPT solar controller that can handle up to 2,600 watts of solar. The DP3 when compared to the original Delta Pro is much more compact, especially when adding on extra batteries. The batteries for the Delta Pro 3 are four kilowatt hours compared to the 3.6 kilowatt hours of the original and are almost half the size and something like 20 pounds lighter. It's obvious that the Delta Pro 3 was designed with the battery expansion in mind, unlike the original, which was pretty obviously an afterthought. The Delta Pro 3 also directly supports fast charging from a vehicle using Eco flows new alternator charger which can pump up to 800 watts into the dc battery port while you're driving it's the perfect solution for overlanding and for folks that live or camp out of their vehicle but don't have much room for solar on their roof this product supports several different EcoFlow power stations, and I have a full separate review on the alternator charger if you want to check it out. In regards to return on investment, a lot of people compare these battery power stations to gas and propane generators. The Delta Pro 3 is actually more cost effective in the long term when compared to an inverter gas generator like a Honda of equivalent output over the entire warranty period. For example, EcoFlow offers a five-year warranty on their products. So over that five-year warranty period, running 600 hours compared to Honda's 
three-year warranty running 360 hours, the EcoFlow comes out to a half to one-third the cost per hour of runtime. Now this assumes the EcoFlow is charged with grid power at the average of 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Of course, if you charge from a moving vehicle, it's going to be even cheaper. And if you charge from solar, that's going to be a different calculation because you do have to factor in the cost of the solar panels. So let me go ahead and put this up on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. The EcoFlow Delta Pro 3, since it doesn't take gas, oil, or maintenance, only costs $360 to charge with electric for 600 hours of use. At $3,199 MSRP, that comes out to $3,559. Divide that by 600 hours of runtime over five years, comes out to $5.93 per hour. The Honda EU 3200i inverter generator would cost you 452 bucks in gas, 108 in oil, 59 for maintenance, plus the 2799 MSRP for 3418 divided by 360 hours because that only has a 3-year warranty comes out to 949 an hour. The much larger Honda EU 7000 IS inverter generator would cost you $980 worth of gas, 108 for oil, 59 for maintenance. 4499 MSRP for the generator itself comes out to 5646 divided by 360 hours again because it's only a three-year warranty. $15.68 an hour, which is about triple what it costs for the EcoFlow. Now, this assumes gas is $3.49 a gallon. There's $15 oil changes every 50 hours, the $50 filter and spark plug kit every 300 hours, and electricity costs 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, I know rates for electricity vary dramatically across the country, same with gas prices, but these are national averages that I got online from the government. Something else super cool about the Delta Pro 3 is that it supports EcoFlow's Power Insight monitoring system. It's basically a tablet display that gives you real-time feedback about what the system's doing. Now, I have two of these on my property, so I can keep an eye on what my EcoFlows are doing, so that it's pretty easy to switch back and forth between different supported products. Now I go into more detail about this product in my Smart Home Panel 2 review. So what about the commonalities between all three models? For example, what about noise levels? So all three power stations do make noise when on their maximum load. The original Delta Pro being the oldest is by far the loudest and makes noise at just about anything over 400 watts. The Delta Pro 3, the brand new one, is the next quietest and is virtually silent under 2,000 watts, but will get somewhat loud at around 56 decibels at maximum. The Delta Pro Ultra is by far the quietest of the bunch. It's also the largest, so it has a bigger heat sink and bigger fans, and that's totally silent under 2,000 watt loads. At higher loads, the smart fans will kick in, but they're still very quiet at around only 42 decibels. Now what about generator support? As an alternative or in addition to solar, you can pair all three of these flagship power stations with EcoFlow's own brand new 4,000 watt dual fuel gas and propane generator. Now that can be set up to auto start and stop to keep your batteries charged at night or when the weather's poor or within any range you decide to pick inside the app. In fact, the most cost effective way to have a home backup power system is to combine both a generator and solar charging together. This way you don't need some massive expensive 15,000 watt solar array. It also means that if you live up far north or in an area that sees little sun or say you're property is surrounded by super tall trees, you can still have reliable power no matter what the weather. Now what about UPS or uninterruptible power supply? All three of these models do include a UPS feature or what EcoFlow calls EPS for emergency power supply. Now this allows you to keep the power station plugged into AC power at all times and it will switch over automatically to batteries when that grid power goes offline. All three power stations can keep sensitive computer equipment online during a blackout. The Delta Pro offers offers a 20 millisecond or faster switching time. The Delta Pro 3 offers a 10 millisecond switching time. And the DPU offers both an online and offline UPS that will switch over at 20 milliseconds and zero milliseconds respectively. As for the warranty, all three flagship models offer a five year manufacturer warranty, but note the batteries for the Delta Pro Ultra are warrantied for 
10 years. So it all comes down to which one should you get? If you just need basic backup power on a budget or it's something portable that can run a 30 amp RV at camp, you don't care about how much noise it makes, you don't need 240 volts, the original Delta Pro is a great buy and probably what you wanna get. As mentioned before, I don't really recommend the extra batteries for this model unless you don't plan on ever moving them because they're simply huge, they can't be stacked, they take up tons of floor space. So instead get a second Delta Pro along with the double voltage hub that will allow you to double the power, add the ability to hook it into your home electrical for 240 volts. Even if you don't need it, it's a great option to have because this combination will still be a grand cheaper than getting the newer Delta Pro 3 with one extra battery. Now, if you're in the market for a complete home backup solution or something that's gonna power most loads in your home, including your main home HVAC AC system, uh, something that will start a three ton unit and say you have a larger budget to work with, really don't care that much about portability, you can't beat the Delta Pro Ultra. It's also the quietest option of the three, so it's perfect for indoor spaces. Now, what if you want the latest and greatest? You need that 240 volt split phase support in the most portable compact package. You need something that runs cool and quiet in a living space other than that old noisy Delta Pro, is portable enough to take on camping trips and supports the alternator charger for charging while you drive, yet is still powerful enough to handle basic home backup duty, the brand new Delta Pro 3 is gonna be your best choice. Now, especially if you plan on adding additional batteries to it, because those additional batteries are much smaller and lighter, they do stack, and they're also more powerful than the original Delta Pro batteries. Now, I'm gonna strongly suggest that if you plan to wire any of these products into your home, that you invest in that smart home panel too. It gives you 12 fully monitored circuits and the ability to run up to three of those power stations simultaneously in parallel for triple the amount of power. And really it's the only way to max them out with a maximum amount of batteries. It's also the only fully automated way to get the batteries to come online automatically during a power outage and then recharge automatically once the power comes back on. Otherwise you gotta hook it up with a manual transfer switch, which you can do, but then when the power goes out, you have to run to wherever location is, flip the switch, and then sit there, wait for the power to come back on, run back out, flip the switch back off. Smart Home Panel 2 automates all that and it actually is controllable through the app. Now, if you do wanna group multiple power stations together, you can get the EcoFlow hub for your power station. There's different hubs for different products. Install that manual transfer switch and then you could switch the the power over manually during a blackout. Note that all three of these products do qualify for the current 30% federal tax credit when wired into your home, so check with your tax professional for details. Now, I do have complete multi-part reviews for each one of these products. I'm gonna link them in the description so you can check out the product in exquisite detail, including my own install using the Smart Home Panel 2. Most of my reviews are pretty long, 20, 30, 40 minutes, but I go into great detail, every feature, I test everything, I shoot, everything works. So you wanna watch those videos before you actually decide to purchase. This is more of a comparison video to give you an idea which one you should probably focus at. So if you are interested in any of these products, I will have links in the description of this video. I'm also gonna put a link here at the bottom of the screen. And if you're watching me on TV, you can simply scan the QR code and it'll take you on over to the EcoFlow store page where you can check out all of these fantastic products. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box.